Hi, this is a quick tour of NetTools and some of the common features uh, which are used throughout NetTools. Um, so NetTools is a single executable. Um, it can be placed anywhere. It can be run from a, a network drive, a USB or local drive um, and doesn't require any special permissions to actually execute the program. Um, when you run it, um, you're presented with this display. Um, what we have on the left hand side here is the is the tests which are available. Um, these are grouped into a number of sections which relate to that test. Um, now, one thing in which you, you, you probably know straight away, there's, there's quite a few tests on here and it can be quite confusing to actually find which test you're looking for. So what there actually is, there's a, an option to pin a test. So once you select the test, you can do pin. It'll ask you to choose an icon and now that test is there so when you go to another test you can go back to that test and that will be a shortcut to that one for you so you can um, do some next ones so if you want to remove that just right click on the button and uh, click remove so when you actually select a test then um, what you're presented with is that this right hand side changes to each test and the standard pattern is that the top half will have uh, inputs and options which are available for the test and then the middle section is usually results and then the lower section here um, is, is an output or results um, which will show you some status information or, or any error messages which happen when the actual program is run. So most of the tests have this, this format of um, server name or um, domain name which is uh, will appear in quite a few of the tests. Now th these, these fields, um, because it's using native Active Directory um, name resolution, you don't actually need to specify the server. It will actually take into content, account what the machine is, what domain is joined to, and then use that as its preference. So as we can see here, if we if we search for um, or we can actually see that we didn't actually need to find any server names. It's known which server to go to. So this is the local server we're on here, and it's gone back and it's actually done the, the query. Now, once you've actually got um, a set of results. One of the, the common features within NetTools is that you can actually copy and paste these details. So to actually export this, it's as simple as just um, copy. And so we can do a copy and paste, so we can copy a single column, a line, or the entire table. And then once once that's actually uh, been exported, what like there, we just copy the table. And we'll demonstrate that by pasting it into um, just Notepad here. So to demonstrate that you can actually um, export that details. Um, one thing we should uh, to bear in mind as well is that when you actually use the column sort, when you actually select a line or you can actually select multiple lines, when you actually want to copy a column it's the point where you would actually right click where that mouse is determines, where your pointer is determines where the actual which column you're actually going to copy. So when we do copy that, that one and we do copy we can see we've actually taken out the display name. And that's that's used for NetTools. So you can actually take um, this various information out of NetTools uh, from one test and copy it to another test. Um, so you can actually just copy and paste those results into another test to actually, um, if you're trying to do a final problem or you want to do another sort of test. Um, so the search one, we've, we've started here deliberately because search is the easiest way to actually start to use NetTools. So you can actually do a search here and find the details. But within the search option, what you have is you have this use with, and from here we can actually then start interrogating more details on this individual user. So we can go look at their ACLs and look at the missions on that actual object. We can go and do some GPO allocation stuff. We can go and um, see when they last logged on. So there's a number of different tests which all link. And so the other thing which is, which is used predominantly for net tools is, is the right click menu. So you'll see quite a few options when, um, so for instance in here, you'll see that there's a number of options here and there's quite a few options which are all right clicks um, to allow you to, to actually use that information to do other tests or actually export it to actually um, interrogate an issue further. Um, the other thing which is common throughout net, net tools is that there's this three three dialog boxes which is the properties dialog which gives you a very similar and sort of look and feel to what you have for Active Directory users and computers. Um, 
one of the features of this though is when you actually hover over one of the fields it will actually tell you the attribute name which actually is used to actually populate that field so if you want to try and find out how that information was populated and you want to actually try and troubleshoot a little bit further you can actually go in and start looking at, looking at that, those details um, the second uh, dialog box is the AD attributes and what this does is it provides you um, a list of all the attributes for an object and within there you get the object, the attribute's name, the actual value of it, what type it is, so what the actual syntax of the object is, and then whether it's actually a single or true. Um, which is this this column's helpful when you're trying to do update queries and sort of manipulate an Active Directory later. So that becomes in a little bit more when you get into more advanced features of NetTools. Um, and then it's the same as everything else within here, you can actually then right click, copy. So we can actually take the whole of that data out and then paste it into Excel or whatever, whatever you want to copy it into. Um, and then there's other options. So from here, we can go and see the schema definitions for that actual particular attribute. And this is one of the actual um, additional features where we can actually now start piping some of the, the data from this attribute into the LDAP search. So we can actually start populating LDAP search from this dialog box. The next one, uh, the third one then is metadata. So metadata actually shows you the replication metadata for an object. Um, now in this particular dialog, we've opened it for a user and the user doesn't have any um, attribute, it's not, sorry, it only has the attribute based um, metadata in this, this object. Um, but there, well, there could be, a, if we actually took a group, we can actually see the variable metadata as well. So the bottom half of the screen will actually then show you the met metadata for the variables uh, for actual value changes. Um, the other common, common feature between the tests is that you have this help button up in the top right hand corner. Um, when you click on these, this uh, then links you back into the NetTools website to the relevant page. So you can actually see a bit more detail about um, that test and some of the actual features and options which are available for it. So one of the other features which you can use within NetTools on the right click menu is this copy to new window. Now this actually opens a new window, so all the data on the current plane is copied in there. And this then provides you with a number of different features, so you can actually do sorts on the columns. And uh, if you actually right click on the column, you can then do some additional filtering. So we can actually then start doing some filtering based on some conditional sort of details of what's in the actual field itself. Or we can actually start sort of excluding um, various pieces of data to actually then uh, do that. So then you can actually then format this data then to be used somewhere else or to be exported. So if we export that um, to a column and then just we can paste it then into Notepad here, but that works equally well into um, Excel as well. So that concludes the quick tour. Um, I'll post some more videos with some more details about some of the individual tests, which um, will help you to try and use NetTools a bit more productively.